Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. Today I am going to show you my every dollar budget. So, you know, it's about mid-month and it's getting ready to be in a couple of weeks to go ahead and start your May budget. And these are some of the things that I wish somebody would have told me. I get paid bi-weekly from my day job and I could never figure out how to be able to completely use every dollar to my advantage. That I guess that's the best way to say it. I love every dollar. I love that it, you know, gives every dollar a name. You know where your money's going. I always say once you break that 20, it is a wrap. You never see any of the tens, fives, uh, the quarters, the nickels, dimes, or the pennies in that 20 once you get finished with breaking it. So it allows me to be able to see exactly where my money is going and be able to throw as much money to, toward my debt. But because I get paid bi-weekly, it was very hard to be able to balance my different bills. So say for instance, I can't say that I can pay my internet bill on the first check of the month or the second check of the month because it depends. It may not fall, you know, it might fall on the 10th, it might fall on the 7th, it might fall on the 15th. It could fall anywhere in there. So I am trying to figure out how to utilize this the best way I can. So I think I figured out something and I wanted to share it with you guys because I haven't seen anything else on um, YouTube about this at all. I've seen people ask questions in different financial groups and things of that nature, but I have not seen any answers that really made me feel a lot more comfortable. And this has made me feel comfortable. It might work for you. It might not. Um, but I'm going to share it anyway. All right, butterflies. Uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much to every 204 subscribers that hit that red button. From my heart to yours, I promise you, I try my best to make the best content. Something from, you know, a single mom that is just trying to figure it all out you know, weight and, and financial and just day-to-day -day kids. I am trying to figure this thing out and I just share my life with you. So I appreciate you accepting me. So welcome butterflies. Um, also make sure you hit that notification bell. So therefore every time that I upload a video, you are notified and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Now we're going to jump into every dollar. Okay, butterflies, um, this is how I do my budget now. I have elected to do two separate logins, one for the first part of my month and then do a whole nother login for the second part of my month. Now, first of all, let me apologize. I know this is a little bit pixelated. However, I have yet to figure out <laughs> how to do this from my computer. So um, was I willing to wait to share this with you? I'm just hoping that you will be patient and be nice um, while um, understanding that I know it is a little pixelated, but hopefully you'll get the idea. So this is May 2018's budget. Um, they tell you about a couple of days before they actually send you a reminder to, to go ahead and start your next month's budget. Now with every dollar, all of your categories from the previous month will generate to the following month. Um, so therefore you can um, be able to use some of the same numbers. Now, if you need to delete something or add something, you are more than welcome to do that, but it gives you a good working start um, to what you will, you know, what you were utilizing the previous month. So right here, yes, these numbers are fabricated, fabricated. Some of the same categories in the entries are the same on my budget. I have a, quite a few more and it was going to just be too much to kind of go over. So I, I changed some of it. Um, so as you see at the beginning, it says Pam's paycheck number one, and then I have $1,200. I was just trying to use some round numbers. And then one of the other things, just in case you had a different, you know, another um, 
income source, I use internet because I get reimbursed for my internet um, through my job. So, um, and no, it does not pay the full amount of internet, but it is um, helpful, um, better than paying the whole thing by myself. So our working budget that we had was with $1,236. I had already finished my um, emergency fund, so there's nothing in there. All right, if we move up a little bit, there's a truck note. If you see right here, I put the date that it's due, so therefore I can kind of um, know what I'm looking for as far as if I'm dealing with a pay date of the 10th. Okay, I need to, that's inside the 10th, and I need to go ahead and include that. So that's why I have those dates beside it. You got the truck note. Um, CCWA is our water life insurance, gas for auto. So that's split in the month down the middle. So I was doing $108 a month. So therefore it's 54 every pay period. Groceries is $125. And then my allowance, I do $20 a pay period. I'm trying to get down to the bare bones of stuff. So and then $10 for restaurants. If y'all remember my spending analysis, I needed to stick to $10. Um, that will, you know, if I need to go over, then I have to take it out of my allowance. All right. And then I have Ashley Stewart, which is due on the second. And if you can see that, everything that I have left over for that particular month goes directly to Ashley Stewart because that is the baby step number two that I'm working on. That is the actual credit card that I'm working on. And then the Capital One, number one card. Remember, I've got two of those. Um, the $48 is just a regular normal payment. And then if you see at the top, it says it's an every dollar budget. That means that every single dollar that I had, that $1,236 is allocated to something on this list. So that's why I like it. However, I've got a second pay period. So I will now show you that. All right, so now if you look, once again, we're still on May. This is a totally different email address that's uh, attached to this particular account so that I can keep it separate, okay? So this is paycheck number two. Um, once again, we're looking at maybe $1,200. Um, I do get a malice check. It depends. So I just kind of maybe did an, um, a number of 250, which gave me 1450 to deal with this particular pay period. All right. So I did a mortgage of around $500. Um, then cell phone 113. Georgia Power, of course, is our lights. It's 150. The internet is $60. Remember, I got a credit um, and the check usually comes in at the first part of the month. And then I just pay that bill. My car insurance, only by myself. My, my car insurance is normally, with the twins, is astronomical. But my portion of it is $120. Uh, the gym membership is $19. Um, the other half of that 108 is right there, which is the $54. There's the other half of the groceries, which is 125. Once again, I've got $20 for my allowance. Um, personal care items, just, you know, if your cycle comes on or if you need shampoo, any of those things, I just kind of had $20 in there. So it wasn't coming out that I had the money allocated, but it wasn't necessarily coming out of my my allowance because it's so low. Um, the restaurant for ten dollars, um, just in case you know Janae or myself wants to, um, you know, have something from the drive-through or something. Um, but if y'all remember, it was like a hundred and something dollars that I was spending one sixty, one eighty. So um, we're cooking at home a lot more. Um, my ADT and my American Home Shield, um, which is my insurance over my appliances and stuff. And then I've got a donation to St. Jude Hospital. 
If you see at the bottom, it says um, Ashley Stewart extra payment. So anything that's left over to make this an every dollar, if you look up there, it, it did everything is allocated to um, make this an every dollar budget. Everything that's left over goes to Ashley Stewart. So the Capital One is the $25, which is the minimum payment. So as I said, this was an every dollar budget on both ends. And I was able to throw, you know, money toward the Ashley Stewart debt. And I was able to see clearly exactly how much was left over. So I don't know if this will help anybody else. I don't know if anybody else's mind is like mine. <laughs> But it's much easier for me to be able to see exactly which, uh, with each paycheck, exactly what is left over. So I, you know, I'm not throwing money at something or I haven't forgotten anything. So let's look at Capital One. So say, for instance, I may get paid on the 1st. So if I get paid on the 1st and Capital One is due on the 6th, and I don't get another paycheck and say until the 15th, then I know that I need to take care of Capital One on this particular paycheck. Say for instance, I got paid mid month and I knew I got another paycheck um, prior to the sixth, then I would just shift that to the other budget. So sometimes it's a little bit much of you know shifting it back and forth, but it's only usually one or two things it's those things that are right there on the cuff of like the 12th through the 17th, somewhere in there, um, that usually may have to be moved. But other than that, I don't have a problem with it. I shift it back and forth just to make sure that everybody's paid and it's worked for me. So if this is something that you are interested in, then, um, you know, all you need is another email account and then you can sign up under that particular email account for you to utilize two separate accounts for a bi-weekly check all right so you know i hope this helps if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and until next time butterflies love you